his train fills the temple. I see the Lord, he is high and lifted up. Angels cry. Martin here, Trunov Ministry, welcome with us. And, um, I'm so glad that you are with me and may the word of the Lord Jesus Christ bless you this morning. Um, I want to speak to you, if you can see on my board, is train. And the Lemuel sang a song for us. Um, and it's all in uh, Isaiah 6 verse 1. Isaiah 6 verse 1, if you have your Bible, you may turn with me and may the word um, open, Lord Jesus Christ, open your word for us so that we can see the glory of the Lord. So Isaiah 6 verse 1 says, in the year of King Uzziah died, now Isaiah is an Old Testament prophet, when the king of Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on his throne high and exalted or high and lifted up high and exalted I see the Lord on his throne and the train of his robe filled the temple the train of his um, robe filled the temple now so most of the people um, do not understand what the train is and the best picture that we can use is maybe a bride that walked in a church getting married and her uh, garments that she has on has a train it is a rope with a train you know that is this back um, back drop um, after her wedding um, a gown or what do you can call it that is the train of the rope so I see the Lord and the train fills the temple and I want to speak to you about that so it, Isaiah 6 verse 1 in the year of King Uzziah died I saw the Lord seated upon the throne high and exalted and his train of his rope fill the temple now before I I'm going on I want to speak to you first 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 very important scripture and I want you to listen to the words carefully it says and all of us with unveiled faces all right because we have turned to the Lord the previous verse God opened our eyes so that we can see with unveiled there is no covering continue to behold the word of God as in a glass the glory of the Lord we behold through this glass and some translation says mirror the glory of the Lord so the glory of the Lord we are focusing on and then it says and are constantly transfigured we are transformed transfigured into this very own image why because we look to the glory of the Lord all right the glory of the Lord in his very own image so we look to the Lord Jesus Christ and the glory of the Lord all right so it's two things we look unto Jesus Christ our Lord and his glory now Isaiah said I saw the Lord he is high and lifted up I saw the Lord 
there Jesus Christ is. And his train of his robe for the temple. That's the second thing. So focus now. I look unto the Lord and the glory of the Lord through a mirror. And I'm changed to that same image. So first I saw the Lord on his throne and his train fill the temple. So that train is actually his glory. It is his backdrop that follows him. All right. Can you see what I'm saying? All right. Then remember Psalm 24 verse 9 says, we have spoken on that already in a previous sermon. It says, lift up your heads. Oh, you gates, you are a gate, a gate, open yourself. Lift them up. Oh, you ancient doors, before you came to earth, you were with God. You are ancient and your doors, you were the plan of God since the beginning to be the door and the gate. For what? That the king, there is the first one again, of glory may come in. There's the second thing. And I saw the Lord, the King. He is high and lifted up. And his train of his robe filled the temple. So what has Jesus Christ on? What covers him? His glory. And the robe, the train of his robe filled the temple. Now men Le Mille sang, um, I am the temple I am the temple, I am the temple of the Lord. So we look unto Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. He is clothed with glory and his robe, his glory filled the temple, which is us. All right, so I want you to go to Ezekiel 1 verse 28. Going to read to you a few verses. I believe it's going to bless you. Ezekiel 1 verse 28. And then I'm going to read to you 43 verse 2 as well. Now listen. Ezekiel is saying now. Isaiah said, I saw the Lord. Alright. And his robe filled the temple. His train of his robe fill the temple it is glory that followed jesus christ let's go on it says ezekiel says like the appearance when he saw god he was like the appearance of a rainbow god is like the listen now the appearance of a rainbow so let's draw a rainbow all right Okay, that's a rainbow. Okay, you can take it until there if you want to, but for my uh, blackboard sake, I'm just going to do it like that. Now listen now to the words carefully. It says, like the appearance of a rainbow. We know a rainbow has seven colors. All right, seven colors. Very important. Why seven colors? All right. His appearance was like a rainbow in the clouds. In the clouds. A rainbow in the clouds. Alright, so look here. Here's the rainbow and it was in the clouds. Do you hear the words? Alright. Then it says, on a rainy day. So was the radiance around him. So was the radiance around him. So he saw the Lord. Ezekiel says he saw God. And he looked like a rainbow. In a cloud. On a rainy day. So that means on a rainy day it's a, about to rain. It's going to rain. All right, it's going to rain. This was the radiance around God. This was the radiance. Another word for radiance is light or splendor or glory. 
All right. Glory was around him. And then it says, And I fell down, face down, and I heard the voice of one who is speaking. So God said now things to him. But I want you to see the image. All right. Now, Ezekiel 43 verse 2. If you can go there. Ezekiel 43 verse 2. And behold, the glory of God. Listen. Behold, the glory of God or the radiance or the splendor or the light. It's another word for glory. Listen now. It says, behold, look man, for the glory of, of, of God of Israel came from the east. And his voice was like the sound of many waters. And his voice was like the sound of many waters. So, I saw the Lord. He looked like a rainbow in a cloud on a rainy day. So this is water is about to fall on earth. All right. Now, I behold the glory of God. As we behold the Lord and the glory of the Lord as in a mirror, we are changed to that same image. So listen to this and what I said now there. All right. So now it says, Behold, the glory of God of Israel came from the east. Why the east? Because the sun is rising from the east. The east is always in the Old Testament, the beginning. The west is where the sun sets. It went down. So the east is since the beginning. I saw the sun. The sun is a sun. The sun rises in the east and Jesus Christ is the sun. A type of the sun. And he is the light of man. So he is rising from the east. And his voice was like the sound of many waters. What is rain? Rain is many water. Uh, what is a dripple? Drops. Alright. His voice. He looks like a rainbow. Seven colors. In a cloud. I saw it in the cloud on a rainy day and his voice sounds like many waters and the earth shone with his or shine with his glory all right so i saw the lord his eye lifted up and his train of his robe filled the temple all right that was Is isaiah Ezekiel said, I saw the Lord. Yes, I lifted up. He looks like a rainbow in a cloud that's about to rain. And his voice was like many waters. And the earth underneath, yeah, because he is high and lifted up. The earth shine with his glory. What glory? Because this glory that Ezekiel and Isaiah saw that's about to rain. So this raindrops is glory about to fall on the earth so that the earth can shine with this glory. All right? This is the prophetic word in the Old Testament. And we know that Jesus Christ is about to come for them when they prophesy it. That he is the Lord of glory. Open you, O gates. Psalm 24. You abiding doors. Open yourself so that the king of glory may come in on earth. And that you may shine the glory of the Lord. That was Ezekiel 43 verse 2. Now I want you to go now to Matthew 24 verse 30. Matthew 24 verse 30. All right, I believe you are there. Matthew 24 verse 30 says the following. Listen now to the words carefully. I'm going to read it very slow. All right, Jesus is saying to them. Jesus is saying to them. All right, Matthew 24, people will take this to the end of the world. <laughs> The end of the earth, all right? But this is Jesus stood at the temple, that temple, 
the natural Jewish temple. And they asked him, when will the end be? And Jesus said, look to the temple. This temple will be destroyed. All right. But there's coming a new temple. A temple that will be filled with the glory of the Lord. Because Old Testament prophets prophesy, Yesiah and Ezekiel, I saw this, and the earth will shine with his glory. I saw that the Lord is high lifted up, and the strain of his robe fills the temple. That temple where Jesus stood before the cross, all right, was not full of glory. So when will the end be? When will be the, the end of the world be? When will another word of that world, Greek word, is eon, is time. When will be the end of the time of this stage that we are in? Of this world we are living in? Where the Jew is the only nation in a dead building. Oh, go and see what Isaiah in in, in Ezekiel is prophesying. You see the stones will not lie upon one another. Seventy after Christ, we know that the temple fall to the ground when the, the Roman Empire came in and uh, surrounded Jerusalem and break Jerusalem down, burn it down, and the temple were destroyed. Uh, so the place where they came and bring offerings to God that was dead bad temple it had to be full so that the new temple of God can rise I am a temple I am a temple I am the temple of the Lord now Jesus did this on the cross already but it took a little bit time for the natural temple to fall so that the only thing that can remain was the spiritual temple the temple of mankind but the Old Testament prophet says I saw the Lord he is high lifted up and he looks like a rainbow in a cloud and it's about to rain so that the earth can shine his glory and Jesaja says I saw the Lord and his rope the train of his robe. What followed his robe is his backdrop, is his glory will fill the temple and the earth. All right. So, Matthew 24, listen here. Jesus is saying now to them, before the cross, he says to them, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, the Son of Man. Who is the Son of Man? Jesus, before the cross, right, says, Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man. The Son of Man is Jesus Christ. Always, in, when we read New Testament, we will, Jesus will say, The Son of Man, the Son of Man, the Son of Man. That means, that phrase means, the servant of man, the offering of man. Then will appear. When will be the end of this dead temple? Oh, look to this temple. This temple will fall. All right. When will it be? When will be the, the fall? Be? Oh, it will be the same time when the Son of Man appear. The Son of Man, the offering for man will appear. Matthew 24. Not end time. Listen to my, listen to me. And it says, and then the sign of man shall of man will appear in heaven so i see the lord he is high and lifted up he's in heaven and he sits upon the throne he looks like a rainbow all right on a cloudy day rainy day and then shall the tribes of the earth mourn then shall the tribes of the earth mourn. 
all the tribes of the earth will mourn. Why? Because the Son of Man will appear in heaven. Why will the, the tribes mourn? You must understand all this that means scripture to understand that God is saying that I'm coming to do something. I'm coming to bring deliverance. I'm coming to bring a fire. I'm coming to bring judgment. But that judgment and that fire is also a redemption. It's also a saving, a salvation. And they will mourn over their sin and problems. When they saw the Son of Man appear in heaven. Listen, listen now. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Lord, when will be the end of this world or this time be? When, oh, look to the temple, the temple will fall. When will be the, 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 the coming of the Messiah be? When will the coming of the Lord be? When the sign appear in heaven. What sign appear in heaven? Look, it says, when they shall see the Son of Man, the Son of Man is Jesus Christ. And Isaiah says, he looks like seven, he looks like a rainbow, like seven colors. Listen, listen. When the Son of Man will appear in a cloud. There is the clouds. So the Son of Man is Jesus Christ, who is the Lord, who looks like a rainbow for Ezekiel, will appear, will appear in the clouds on a rainy day. It's about to rain, to shine forth His glory on the earth. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Not on the clouds. In the clouds. What is the cloud? Ezekiel says, Oh, it is the glory of heaven with power and great glory. They shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and great glory. This rain and his voice was like many waters. Many waters. Great many waters. That must fall onto the earth. So that the earth can shine the glory. When will be the end be? When will be the end of the fall of this temple be? Oh, when the Son of Man appears. As a rainbow in the heavens, in a cloud, on a rainy day. That is like many waters about to fall on the earth. So that the earth can be filled with the glory of the Lord. Or so that we can look upon the Lord Jesus Christ upon the throne. And his train, his afterwards, his following, his glory can fill the temple. Who is the temple? The earth. Who is the earth? Mankind. I hope you can see it. I believe you can see it. If you have spiritual eyes and spiritual ears, you understand what I'm saying this morning. Revelation 10 verse 1. Revelation 10 verse 1. Now remember, we have read, Matthew 24 verse 30. And then shall appear the Son of Man. Appear the sign of the Son of Man. In heaven. And then the tribe shall mourn of the earth. Alright. Because of their sin and stuff. And they who took. The tribes that were took. The words of the Lord that's about to fall. Will be covered with the glory. The earth will be filled with the glory. All right. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Yes, the clouds of heaven as a rainbow. All right. Remember the rainbow now. 
And I saw another mighty angel, Revelation 10 verse 1, not in the future. John saw, yeah, plus minus the same time as 70, the fall of this temple. All right, we are in 2021. He saw on the day of the Lord what will happen. Yeah, since Jesus' birth until he will went into the cloud. I was on the day of the Lord, John says. Listen, Revelation 10 verse 1, he prophesied now. I saw another mighty angel. It's not a normal angel, it's a mighty angel, a mighty messenger. Who is this mighty messenger? Jesus Christ. Came down from heaven. But, yes, because I saw the Lord, he is high and lifted up. But he's trained. He is in a cloud that's about to fall. With rain on the earth. Alright. So I saw another mighty angel. Coming down from heaven. Where to? To earth. Who is this mighty angel? Jesus Christ. Finished. Clothed with a cloud. Who is this mighty angel? He is clothed with a cloud. And I saw the Lord. In a cloud. And it looks like a rainbow. Yeah, it says, I saw a mighty angel. Revelation 10 verse 1. Revelation, not something to come. An image of what Ezekiel and Josiah saw. Just another view. He says, a mighty angel came down from heaven. Clothed with a cloud. And a rainbow was upon his head. Hi. So, John saw a rainbow around his head. But the seagull said, I saw the Lord, he is high. And he's lifted up and he looks like a rainbow in a cloud. Now, John says, I saw a mighty angel, a mighty messenger in a cloud. And on his head is a rainbow upon his head. And his face was were like the sun. His face was like the sun. Why like the sun? Because Jesus Christ is the light and the life of men. And the sun is rising from the east. Jesus' face shines like the sun. It is like puzzle pieces coming together. And his feet as pillars of fire. John saw the Lord, a mighty angel, a mighty messenger. He is clothed with clouds. That means his robe that he has on is clouds. And his train is clouds. The train for the temple. What is his, his robe? Clouds. He's clothed with a cloud. What is the cloud? Glory. Wow. Because I saw his train for the temple. What is the temple? You are the temple. And it is filled with the train of his robes. The glory is you are filled with the glory of God because God was about to give his life, broke his life, and then it started to rain on the earth so that man, the earth, the temple can shine his glory or that the temple can be filled with the train of his rope. So you are the train. You are part of the glory. That was a prophetic word. What happened when Jesus Christ took the scroll? In Revelation 4, there were seven seals that need to be broken. Around the throne was seven lampstands that were the seven spirits of God. The seven spirits of God. Seven spirits of God. Seven lampstands. Lights. In front of the throne. Seven spirits. He had to broke up seven seals. So that the seven spirits of that seven lampstands around the throne. Can shine forth in our lives. What is the seven lights? What is a light? Let me ask you this. What is a rainbow? Rainbow is a color. But the color is light. Alright. So it is when white light 
Jesus is the light and life of man. When white light hits water, it reflects in seven colors. Who is the light? The light is Jesus Christ of man. What is man in the Old Testament? They are waters. So when Jesus who is in the heaven sitteth upon the throne, who is the light and the life of man, reflects on mankind or waters or the earth, or the new temple that's about to new is it like that new new temple is about to hit the earth then seven colors came out of one light that's why there is seven light stands before the throne Jesus is set upon a throne and looks like a rainbow. And that seven lights is seven spirits around the throne. And seven colors. That will come out of man. Out of water. Out of earth. A rainbow will come. What is that? Is seven. Isaiah 11 verse 1 and 2. I am the temple. I am the temple. I am the temple of the Lord. And I see the Lord is high and lifted up. And the train fill the temple. His glory is about to fill the temple. When? On the cross of Calvary. He broke open this white light into earth into man all the glory broke open and water fall on the earth so that earth man water can shine forth what the same rainbow that's a that is upon jesus head because as i look in a glass the glory of the lord who looks like a rainbow i becoming a rainbow I'm becoming seven lights. What lights? Seven spirits will flat my heart, will flat my earth, will flat this temple. I hope you can see it. Isaiah that says, our, our first portion now, I see the Lord, he is high and lifted up, and the rope, and the train of his rope for the temple. Now says in Isaiah 11. A shoot will come up. From the stump of Jesse. Who is Jesse? Jesse is the father of David. And Jesus is out of the tribe of David. From the roots a branch will bear fruit. Speaking of Jesus. Jesus will come. A Branch will start growing out of the tribe of David. The Lord will sit on your son's throne. David, the prophecy. And the spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. There's the first light. The first spirit. The first color of the rainbow. Will rest upon him. So as we behold the glory of the Lord... As through a glass, we see our own image in that. And we look unto a rainbow, the glory of the Lord. Because we will become the train of His rope that will fill the earth. So, listen to what I'm saying. So, the first thing that Jesus had was the Spirit of the Lord was upon Him. So, you can become a Lord. Because you behold the glory of the Lord. And you are transfigured to that same image. You become the Lord so that you can rule. Earth. Not heaven. Earth. And then it says. We'll rest upon the spirit of wisdom. You can have wisdom. Wisdom. I have the spirit of God. And the spirit of God brings wisdom. 
so that they know what they need to do and understand things. The spirit of understanding. There is many Christian people that has Bible verses, but they do not understand the word of God. And I saw the Son of Man as a sign in heaven, and he will be clothed with the clouds. When was Matthew 24? Ah, on the cross. Before the time, Jesus says, you will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. And he will be broken open as a scroll so that you can receive the seven lights and seven colors and seven spirits that's upon him. So that the earth can shine his glory. The spirit of counsel, the spirit of power, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of the fear of God. The seven spirits that is upon the root that will come out of Jesse, out of David. Will Jesus appear and I behold his glory. Like Ezekiel says, I saw the Lord as a rainbow. John says, I saw a great messenger clothed in glory with a cloud. And upon his head was something like a rainbow. As we behold that, we can receive lordship, we can receive wisdom, we can receive understanding, we can receive counsel, we receive power, we receive knowledge, and we receive the Spirit of God, because we are transfigured to that same image as our Lord Jesus Christ is. There will be nothing impossible for us if we truly see who God is. I saw the Lord. Yes, I lifted up. And if you behold the Lord, and you know that His train will fill the temple, the temple, the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God. You are waiting for tribulation and end times and stuff, and the end times is here on the cross. We are living in the days of the Holy Spirit and in the days of Christ needed to be revealed where the earth will get full of the glory of God as the waters covers the sea. God wants to shine forth, show forth His glory on earth, in earth, in men, in water. His train must fill the temple, and that was the purpose of God. You are part of this train of His rope. You are part of the glory of God. And that glory is within you to shine forth. I believe you understand. May God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. Hey guys, Lemuel Veneman here from True North Ministries. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. And also, go follow our Instagram page. Link is in the description. Thank you. Blessings. Amen.